Hello children, I welcome you all again in your EBS class. Let us see what is happening in this chapter. Okay. Here see, here it is a picture of a bird, it is flying, it is flying very high. Now see this children, one more picture, here also it is a picture of a bird where this bird is flying very high. Children, can you, I, your mom, your dad, my friends, your friends can fly high? We can fly, yes, but how? With the help of some artificial thing, like with the help of parachute we can fly. But like birds can we fly by ourselves, by, can we fly by ourselves? Yes? No. Why children? What is the difference? Why we can't fly like them? What is the reason? Because we don't have wings like them. See what they are having? It is a wings. It helps them to fly high. But can all birds fly high? No. Again no. That means few birds they can also, they are having wings, but the wings are small compared to their body. That is why they can not fly. Okay. Like few birds, that is ostrich, it is very heavy bird, that is why it cannot fly. Its wing is not that much big compared to its body. Then penguin, you already have seen that its body is very big but its wings are very small that's why they cannot fly few birds are there they can fly for small distance like duck then hen they can fly but only for small distance not like these birds they cannot fly high few birds are there they can fly very high like this bird, which bird is it? Eagle. Then vulture also can fly very high, but a few more birds are there. They can also fly high, but not so high like them. Like crow, pigeon, parrot, they can fly, but not so high. So let's start our chapter number eight, flying high. In this chapter, children, you are going to see different types of birds different types of beaks, different types of feathers and different types or different qualities among them. You won't find that each and everyone is having the same quality. Okay, now let's start. On my head, I have a crest. What does it mean? Let's see. This is crest. Okay might be having confusion to see it clearly. Now I am showing you clearly. This is crease. The upper design part is creased. It is a crest. All say I dance the best. Everyone says that yes, peacock dance the best. We even we have seen uh, might not might have uh, we have not seen in front of us, but yes, in Discovery Channel, in TV, we have seen it. It dances very well. Its feathers have been spread while dancing and it seems very beautiful at that time. Of my feathers, I am proud. What it says that of my feathers means as its feathers are very colorful, very shiny, very attractive, it says that I am proud of it. Before the rain, I cry aloud. Okay. Before the rain, it is cry aloud. Yes. Children, which bird it is? It is a peacock. Right. It stands very beautifully. It seems very beautiful. Okay, now let us see the next one. 
Okay, children, now see carefully. Carefully see it. What is it? Long and grooved is my tail. Long and grooved is my tail. High up in the sky I sail. I pick and eat all the mice. The dash is what you call me. What it says that its tail is very long and high up in the sky I sail. Means its sail means its fly high up in the sky and it picks and eat all the mice. Whatever um, dead animals are there or, in, uh, or others animals are there, it also harm other animals and eat it. It is not only dead animals eagles are eating. Which animal it is? Yes children, it is a eagle, right. It is a picture of eagle. You can see its special thing is there. See it is big. See it is big how it is. It is like hook system. Whenever it flies while flying from the uh, half from the sky when it uh, see towards the down near the near the earth at that time if it find any of the animal or any of the opponent animal which it feels or which it can eat by that time it will go and with this hook system it will eat it or it will catch it or snatch it and then it will fly high and then have it. Okay, it's a eagle. See, my feathers are green, my beaks are red. Goa and green chili, I am fed. Means what it's saying, my feathers are green. How is it? Its feathers are green and its beak is red. That we can see here. Here its beak is also little bit curved type, little bit hook type. But what it eats? It eats kava and green chili. I am fed. I love to imitate people's voice. Yes, children. We will say what does it mean? They are, it's speaking like us. Yes, it's, it's have that talent or it's have that quality that it can speak. Okay. Few birds means they are, if they are trained well, they can be, they can speak like us. Not exactly the same how we are, uh, such difficult words. But yes, most most of the words they can speak. Like I would like to share one small example in front of you. In my house also there was a, there was this bird, and whenever anyone used to come to our house, it used to say ma. If my father comes, then it used to say, Baba Eshete. In this way, it used to speak. If you will train them, definitely they can speak. And keep making a lot of noise. All the time they keep on talking. All the time they keep on talking. Like if this is to brother, they will keep on saying, Dada, I. In small words, but it will speak. It can also speak difficult words too. It totally depend on how it has been trained. So, it is a bird. Which bird children? It is parrot. Okay. Now, see the next one. Black are my feathers and black is my beak. Black are my feathers and black is my beak. Cow, cow, I do all day long. What this bird is saying? I all the day, I keep on doing cow, cow. By listening this word itself, you will say, oh, it's a crow. But uh, like children, we all say that I am my favorite bird is bird, uh, peacock. Someone will say parrot, someone will say duck, but no one says that my favorite bird is peacock. Why children? Because 
because the main reason is it is not so beautiful like them. But children do you know it plays a beautiful role on the earth? A crow is playing a beautiful role, important role on the earth. What is that? Yes, it eats all the dead animals or dead insects which we throw out of our house. We clean our house and throw it outside of our house. But if it stays in your environment for 2 to 3 days after, at that time there will be a bad smell which is very impossible for you to smell it right. So, it eats it and it makes your environment eco friendly for you and also dead animals free by eating it right now if it will there for you all one day okay, second day okay, third day it will be a bad smell, fourth day again if you will have that smell then uh, there will be little problem in your health, fifth day again there is a smell more dirty smell it is coming and that time it becomes very difficult for you to take it ok. So, it also plays an important role its name is crow it is actually plays a role of cleaning the environment right. Now, let us see the next one. Coo, coo is my sound. Everywhere I, I am found. My sweet wise voice gives me frame. Dash is my name. Coo, coo means it is giving it sound is my sound. Everywhere I am found, you can find me everywhere. My sweet voice gives me frame. Frame means though it is also black like crow. But people do not like crow, yes, but people loves it. Why? What is the main reason? Main reason is its voice is very beautiful. It's cuckoo, right? Where we people in Bengali says it kokil paki, right? Yes, it is also very black like uh, same like crow, but its voice is very beautiful. We love it because of its voice that means some talent it should be there. But you have seen till until now each bird is having different different talent right. Now see the next one dead animals I do eat making places clean and neat high up in the sky I fly vulture is what I am called by what it is saying that I eat dead animals. You will say crow is also eating dead animals and it is also eating dead animals. Is it crow? No. Crow is eating dead animals. Okay. But this eat the, this animal eats dead animal but the, those from the jungle we, because of which can uh, means nearby our area you can find that there is a sweepers, mom is cleaning the ground or near our houses or uncles are there, sweepers are there, right, municipality peoples are there, but in jungle area no one goes to clean. Those areas are being cleaned with these animals. If anyone, any animal is dead, suppose someone's age is there and it is uh, uh, due to some illness or whatever may be the problem as they are in jungle, no one takes care of it. If it is in your house, your pet animal, that time you might go to wet or veterinary doctor to take or uh, to go for treatment but if it happens in jungle no one will go for treatment their children if they are dead those uh, sick animals are no more on the earth then those animals are um, have been killed by or eaten eaten by this vulture not killed by eaten by this vulture vulture eat eats and clean your environment ok high up in the sky they can also fly high up in the sky that I already mentioned along with eagle vultures can also fly very high vulture is what I am called by it is saying that you call me as a vulture you know me as a vulture right now let us see the next one my beak is pink feathers grey 
yes children here it is mentioned grey but p these birds are of different colors too you might have seen white also then you might have seen uh, with different shades with different spotted colors right gutter gu i go on all day it sound which sound it makes gutter gu full day you will find this sound if they are nearby you my house i make my home it makes its house as its home with its different family members by living in peace and love among them a dash is how i am known what it is known as what is this bird name its name is pigeon right then the next one children see this in trunk of trees holds i make hidden insect i intake what it says that in trunk of trees holds i make in trunk of tree this bird makes hole with the help of this sharp beak see with the help of this sharp beak its beak is very sharp and it's very big very pointed also and with it it makes a hole in a big trunk and it eats the hidden insects inside you might have seen that there are small ants or other insects inside the plant or inside the trees and nearby areas also they make those holes and they try to eat it tuk 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 this sound they keeps on making while making hole in the trunk the woodpecker is what people say this bird name is woodpecker then the next bird and the last bird okay my beak is very special i used to i use it like a needle stitching leaves i make my home the dash bird is how i am known what it says that my beak is very special its beak is very special why children see it's very big and even it's of different kind it sometimes it seems like some uh, turning point is there and it's a very sharp i use it like a needle it use its beak like a needle and it stitch a leaf to stay inside it the dash bird is how i am known it's known as a tailor bird as it does a stitching work it stitch a leaf that means it sleeps in a leaf its nest is its leaf by stitching that leaf it makes like a cone and inside that they stays okay children yes just start for a recap we have seen all the birds are not having the same quality again we will start with the first one itself okay first bird was peacock what is its quality it can dance very well it seems very beautiful and it is proud of its feathers it also cries in rainy days eagle what it does it la it flies very high its tail is very long and also it picks all the mice even they can eat snake too their beak is again like a hook type it's a colorful bird parrots are having color um, green color feathers but few colorful parrots are also there on the earth they loves to have goa and green chili its beak is red it is also with a different type of beak it is having and its main talent is that it can speak like people crow can crow help us by cleaning the environment 
cuckoo sings very sweet vulture it also keeps our environment that means specially jungle clean right this bird this is pigeon it makes a sound of gutter goo and also children it can make its home its house as a home and one more thing children there are different colors in pigeons right they don't have only the one common color they have different colors too even their beaks are very sharp they can swallow or they, their digestive system is much more stronger compared to other birds also few birds are there those who can eat uh, meat yes but they can have grains grains are very harder to digest here it's a woodpecker which can use it big to make a hole in a trunk right next one it's a tailor bird which can which can stitch its own uh, which can stitch a leaf to make its own house okay to live inside it okay children today we have seen about different types of birds their different qualities different talents and also their different beaks in in deeper way or in detail in brief we are going to study in our next to next video okay you people are going to see it very carefully and try to learn each and every thing okay start studying children from now itself whenever which part has been given to you just grow, go through it so that it become easy for you for preparing yourself for final or for your mid exam pre mid exam okay keep on revising your chapters listen to your parents stay inside your home take care of your health and obey to your parents and elders thank you